kind of want to box jump onto the counter. Should I do it? Is that crazy? I can definitely box jump this high. I just don't know if I have the space. Welcome to Aries Kitchen. Oh God, got it out of my system. Welcome everybody to Aries Kitchen. We are back here today to do a tomb in every way possible. Catch your breath, then lose it again, then catch it again, because we're gonna get started cooking right now. I have fallen down the deep, wide, beautiful, and wondrous world of doing nothing but playing Minecraft. I don't know what it is about that game, but I started playing Minecraft like just a few weeks ago. I've really decided after a lot of thought to dedicate a lot of my life to that game. And so here we are back in the kitchen where um, I meant to be cooking normal food, but all I can think about is Minecraft. And during one of our streams, you guys had the idea to make a Minecraft recipe. That was like such a cool idea for a lot of reasons. Number one, it's Minecraft. Number two, it's Minecraft. I know how popular Minecraft has gotten recently, especially, and it's really rad to see because everyone is making their own different version of Minecraft content, and that includes cooking. I actually looked up a whole bunch of Minecraft recipes and there's some really cool shit out there. I found a video uh, in particular made by a channel called Feast of Fiction where they made uh, a Minecraft cake from the game, like the cake that you can build in the game. They made that exact cake. That was inspiring and even though I'm not gonna do that exact recipe, I'm gonna be taking some pages out of their book with how they used something called fondant, which I had never heard of before. Uh, to decorate it to make it look like an actual Minecraft item. I was really trying to find a way to make a lava cake, but it looks like the lava from Minecraft. I learned that the traditional type of lava cake, where it's, you know, you turn it over and it's hot and it pours out because it's undercooked in the center, it's not gonna be easy to make look like a Minecraft block. Just probably won't be able to make a proper lava cake if I'm gonna make it a Minecraft cake. So we're gonna call it lava cake, but it's really just gonna be like a layer cake. So the baking portion is pretty straightforward. We're gonna just be making kind of sheet layer cake. At the end, we're gonna use fondant to decorate it and make it look exactly like a block of lava from Minecraft. But I'm ready to do it to him, are you? Everybody grab your diamond pickaxes, put on your armor, and jump on into the lava because we gonna do it to him today. Also, I'm dressed, I'm cosplaying as a creeper. Finally gonna have a real proper reason to use my beautiful stand mixer. We are gonna be making just a pretty straightforward, like vanilla basic sheet cake. In order to do this though, let's just calm down a second. We're gonna need sugar, egg replacer, flour, some dry ingredients in that flour, salt, vanilla extract, vinegar, cashew milk, and vegan butter. Cashew milk I've never used, but I've actually wanted to try for a while because I've heard, why is there a fly in here? Why? I've heard that it's the creamiest. We are gonna add our vinegar to our cashew milk, because this is supposed to just sour up to turn into sort of a buttermilk. And the first thing we're gonna do, all right, you can come back now, is we are going to cream the butter with the sugar. So we're gonna put all of our vegan butter in there and all of our sugar. And we're gonna let this cream for like three to five minutes on low. And this should give us sort of like a kind of a fluffy, consistency. We're gonna let this go, so, okay, BRB. Okay, well, uh, this has been going for a few minutes. It's looking real fluffy. We're gonna turn this off, lift this up, and we're gonna add our egg replacer, which is also, you can use uh, flax meal. You're gonna very gracefully pick it out of the prongs of your tiny whisk, and you're gonna pop this back down, lock it, and turn it on high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're gonna add our vanilla extract to our cup of soy milk with vinegar in it, the buttermilk. And we are gonna start by adding a little bit of the dry mixture and then alternate between dry and wet until this is all sort of complete. Okay. Okay, baby. Making Minecraft food, y'all get those hearts. Call me crazy. I'm gonna add a tiny bit more flour. Because if we've ever learned anything, it's that Baking is not a precise art. Thank God I'm not mic'd. I'm gonna add just a little bit of flour right here. Just like the smallest amount. And I'm gonna let that go until it's about even, which it's looking relatively good right now. I think it should be 
like a cake batter consistency, you know, not too dry, not too wet. Now it's arts and crafts time. You're gonna take your parchment paper and cut it very high in the air with scissors and make sure it's perfectly straight because if it's not, it doesn't matter at all. Then you're gonna put the parchment paper down on our cake pans. Okay, this is done. Don't worry about the noise, everything's fine. Pour evenly the mixture into these two square pans. Maybe a little more in here, I'm trying to get it as even as possible. So these are our sheet cakes or our layer cakes or whatever you wanna call it. And just to kind of give you a better idea of what's happening, cause I haven't really done a good job of explaining it up until now, um, I'm gonna cook these square sheet cakes. My plan is to cut them into fourths. So I'm gonna have eight total squares and that way I have a little more room to experiment with this. So the cake's gonna be more like single serve size and I wanna layer, I think three pieces of that on top of each other with frosting in the middle and then I'm gonna use the fondant to cover and color the final product. But we're gonna cook this for I think 30 minutes at 350. And while that's in there, we're gonna make the fondant out of some of these dandies. Isn't that just dandy? This is the part where it's gonna get nice and sciency. okay? So get your lab coats on. I'll take them off, because it's gonna be pretty hot. I'm gonna take a whole bag of these marshmallows. I'm gonna be very unprecise with this. But basically we're gonna make some marshmallow fondant, which again, I'm not quite sure I know what that is. It's gonna turn out to be like a colorful coating that's edible for our cakes. And also these are vegan marshmallows. I don't know if they're gonna work the same, but we'll see. Two tablespoons of water, I'm gonna microwave it. You're supposed to go in 30 second intervals. Uh, so I'm gonna try to get this down to like a nice mushy thing. Uh, while your marshmallows are nuking themselves, you're gonna want to take some vegetable shortening and get it ready because we're going to be using it for kind of like everything. Okay, I've put vegetable shortening on the inside of this bowl. Here we go. Go ahead. You might need a spatula. Okay, well that's in. And what we're going to do now is we're going to add some confectioner sugar, which is the other main ingredient in making fondant. I'm going to add two more tablespoons of water. This is so much. Okay, so now, Jesus, we're going to take some more confectioner sugar, and we're gonna dump it on in here and let it do its thing. This is about to be real messy. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pick a part of the work surface, and we're gonna literally grease it up. This is giving me anxiety, but it's what we have to do. And you're gonna put it on your hands too. I know, this is fucking crazy. Uh, that's where you're gonna be handling the fondant. It feels warm and weird. And I don't know if I like this. Oh my God, this is weird. And then you're gonna grab your phone. I'm just kidding, don't do that. I'm gonna divide this into like one third to two thirds. We're gonna take our gel food coloring and try to open it, even though our hands are very slippery. Oh man, I did not do enough planning for this. Okay, so I'm gonna put some red and I'm gonna put some yellow, hopefully getting an orange, a nice orange. Don't worry, bunny. Daddy hasn't lost his mind completely yet. And we're gonna just sort of mix it around. We want this to turn yellow because the lava in Minecraft is like yellow and orange. Hey Google, how much time left? All right, we have 12 minutes and three seconds to clean up our fucking act. This is so weird looking. This actually kind of turned out the color we wanted. And then for this one, we're gonna make it straight yellow. God, this is the weirdest shit ever. Okay, this is just gonna sort of turn into a yellow color, which um, most of the cake is gonna end up being the orange color. But I got some cookie cutters, like square cookie cutters. And we're gonna do some like Minecraft pixel squares uh, of yellow throughout to kind of make it look like the actual block of lava. One quick thing that you can do while you're waiting for your cake to finish is you can take some milk or alt milk and add some food coloring. And I found this tiny little ice tray that makes little baby ice cubes, which kind of looks like breaking pixels. And I'm going to just chuck this in the freezer, see what happens. Okay, well, the cake is taking quite a while. I'm not sure what I fucked up, but definitely something. Regardless, while that sorts its life out, I'm going to use some square cookie cutters and try to punch out some squares in the orange and the yellow fondant. Uh, I've decided as an audible 
that I'm gonna take my frosting and color it orange. Um, and this is gonna be the base layer of the color of the whole cake, because that's kind of the orange that lava and Minecraft looks like. And then this is like a darker red orange and this is a yellow. And so these will be like kind of freckled over the whole thing. So let's just try our best here. I don't know if it's because it's not real marshmallows, like if they're vegan marshmallows, but something with the fondant isn't perfect. It's like a little bit too stringy. All right, well, cake number one looks weird. Definitely looks a little bit gooey. It's hot, so that's good. It's good to know. We're gonna do some crazy shit right now. We're gonna flip this. This is the worst thing ever. I don't know why it's so like wet, but whatever. We lost like a fourth. That's a fourth of a cake, but I think we'll honestly still be able to make some do with this. It's making quite the mess. I'm trying to just let it cool. I think I just have to do nothing, which I'm not very good at. Jesus, this is terrible. Just do that a couple times. Well, this actually didn't turn out that bad. This is usable. We just need to let this really cool. That's a usable square. That's a usable square. I don't know, meet me in like 10 minutes and we'll, we'll get this thing done and over with so we never ever have to think about it again. Uh, I'm gonna just go back to playing Minecraft when I'm done this video because I learned that Minecraft is best kept on a 27 inch monitor in front of my face. I don't need to bring it into real life because this is just way too much stress. I didn't ask for this. I don't know who asked for this, but it wasn't me. I don't know why I'm here. I just wanna play Minecraft. I just wanna play Minecraft. Okay, so um, here I have the base of both of our little personal sized cakes. The only thing here now is making things that look anything like a cake with this abomination that just came out of the oven. This looks like brownies just got fired from their job. This is just a goddamn mess. Welcome to Aries Kitchen where we have an idea in our head and it comes out nothing like it and it happens really fast and then at the end you're left feeling confused about your decision making in life in general. You ever wondered what a true abomination in the kitchen looked like? This, this is layer cake, babe. What kind of cake is that? Layer cake. No, it's not. I have news for you. That is not a layer cake. Well, potato, potato. Why is, anyway. Why is there orange and yellow all over the counter? That looks like it's gonna stain. Are we rolling? It's not gonna stain, it's food coloring. It's made for this stuff, babe. <laughs> okay, well now that Jenna's here, we'll let her watch the, the, um, the ending of this abomination. We're gonna put some frosting. Is it's this getting. Is carrot cake? No, no, babe, it's, uh, it's, it's layer cake. What kind of cake is that that it looks like that? Well, gluten free to start. Why is it like soaking wet? <laughs> because now we're gonna take the orange frosting and we're gonna. Oh my god! <laughs> what? Julian! Babe, just support me. I'm trying! Come on, guys, it's fun. Daddy's having fun in here. Come on. I need help. I can't help you. No, like in a more broad general life sense, I need help. I've been trying for years. It looks exactly like mine. <laughs> you know? Okay, wait. Why is it? Can you help me? No. Please, babe. Is that your fondant? No, no, no. This is frosting. Fondant? No. That's fondant. That's what I'm asking. Yeah, that's the fondant. What happened? Um, I actually don't even know. It just came out nothing like I wanted it to. Uh, what? Well, turns out it didn't, but there was only one way to do, know about it is to try it. Everything's gonna be fine and we're all doing well and things are good. This looks just like a lava block. All right, well, we're getting there, guys. <laughs> oh my God. Babe, Why I'm cooking. Did you just Babe. Use the cutting board? Babe, I'm cooking. Could you quiet down, please? Do not tell me to quiet down while you're in here ruining my beautiful kitchen. So as you can see here, <laughs> this looks just like lava. So we're gonna put little squares on the top, on the side. This looks just like it. Look at this, this is so great. You know what's cool about this video? Can I have that towel, please? You know what's cool about this video? Ask me what's cool about this video. What? It's sort of like the downfall of my cooking career all in one video. That is the representation. Now let me, uh, let me finish. Babe, do we have any um, lava colored plates? <clears throat> Julian. 
We're gonna take a plate. This is this is the finale right here. We're gonna take um, our yellow ice cubes. We're gonna break them. It's pixels. Julian, those are ice cubes. No, they're pixels. You hear how everyone around you is upset, except for you. Look at that. Does it look good? Look, it's um, lava from Minecraft. Or also the worst thing I've laid eyes on my whole life. Let's cut down the center. Let's see a nice cross section. A section of what? Um, we're not gonna do a cross section this episode. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but you do not follow instructions with being exact when it comes to baking. This, guys, this is from this is the lava from Minecraft. Baking is not open to interpretation. This is lava from Minecraft. <laughs> Should I take a bite? Yes. Please don't eat it from mine. It's like dripping yellow ice on your plate. Why? Why did you put yellow ice cubes? Okay, take a bite of it. Come on, babe. Time to have a bite of my dessert. In your words, <laughs> here comes the Minecraft, Minecraft plane. Here comes the Minecraft like all plane. Frosting. Uh. All frosting. There you go. Mm. Boop. That's all frosting. Minecraft. Do you guys ever play Minecraft? <laughs> oh, I, how do I delete a video before I upload it? <laughs> the fondant is just like it's so hard. Bad. I know it's like plastic. Puddle of water on your. Plate. Yeah, those are the pixels. Remember the beginning of the pixels. For the picture, babe. Who serves cake with ice on the side? Not enough chefs. Look at the cross section. <laughs> what is the cake? How did you get the cake to look wet? Um, I actually don't I know. Another bite. I yeah. like the sugar. It's good. There's like hard bits everywhere. Yeah, it's the crunchy and the soft, texturized. Okay, Julian. Everything on that plate is like hot. Well, I'm not going to serve cold cake, babe. How? What is this? What is this? Look at You didn't even bake this. This is like chewy. <laughs> what did you think was going to happen? It's like oily and chewy. How much oil did you put in here? Just a little bit. Look at it. I'm shiny. But that's like the same color from Minecraft, right? This is um my crowning achievement. I've made food exactly the way it is in video games. Don't, uh, don't touch it. It's lava, babe. Right? Like in Minecraft? Do you ever play Minecraft? Mm -hmm. okay. Delectable. <laughs> Rate it from a 9 to a 10. <laughs> 9 point negative 10. <laughs> okay, so a 9. Um, if you guys would like this recipe, just <laughs> open up your trash can and look inside of it. That's the recipe. <laughs> Babe, this is lava from Minecraft. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I didn't. I did, so. 1v1 <laughs> me. In what? Minecraft. <laughs> Hardcore. Well, I knew this recipe was going to be a bit sucky. And not my usual level of just gourmet quality. But I didn't realize it was going to be just a dumpster fire like it's become. So uh, I want to deeply apologize to all my viewers. I'm gonna take some time to think about what I've done. And um, if you have to unfollow me, I understand. I'm gonna go play Minecraft. I wish I did something better for you this week, but here we are. Do you play Minecraft? Is that why you got fired as my sous chef from playing too much Minecraft? That's a good girl. At least someone approves of my recipe. Mm.